Hello again, everyone. It's Kieran with Thrifted Living. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I shared with you a shop with me video of all of the things that I'm seeing at some local rummage sales. And I told you that today I would be sharing a haul with you of everything that I found. And I am so excited to share this haul with you today. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you all of the items that are a little more practical and things that I will be using in my daily life. If you're excited to see my rummage sale finds, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. So I think I'm going to start with the household items that I found. So the first two items that I'm going to share with you are actually not things that I found at the rummage sale. I actually found these at a local thrift store, but I wanted to share them with you in this haul because I didn't have enough stuff for a separate thrift haul. So the first thing that I found is this pillow. It is this beautiful throw pillow. Now I showed you the back first because this is how I actually think I'm going to display it in our master bedroom. I picked up two and they're the same brand, but I really like the lined detail on this. And this is actually the front. This is super beautiful as well. It's this embroidered floral image and I really love how that looks, but I've sort of always liked the pinstripe look. I think that the stripes are a little more of a neutral look and I really love these. They're in varying sizes. These are the brand Laura Ashley. They seem like really nice quality and I feel like they've never been used, but I'm going to follow the cleaning instructions and I'm actually going to pop them in the wash and then dry just because I, I want them to be fresh since they're gonna go, go on our bed. So that's the first one. And this is actually the second one. It matches it matches that other one. And it's so pretty. It has these ruffles all over it. I really, really love this one. It's a more like a rectangular sized one. It's also the same brand, Laura. Is it Laura Ashley? Yeah, Laura Ashley. It's really, really pretty. And I just really love the ruffles. I think it's gonna look really nice with this, as you can see, this one's square and a little bigger. I picked up both of those. They were a little more than I wanted to spend. They were each $4. Okay, so everything else that I found actually came from a rummage sale and I have one more piece of home decor and then the rest is clothing. So I found this yesterday at a rummage sale. It's one of my favorite rummage sales ever. I talked about that in the Shop With Me video. I just love going there. And I love this piece. It is this black and white and almost like a gray or like a heathered type look checkered throw blanket. It's made of like a fleece material. It's really nothing too fancy, but I feel that this could be really pretty for Christmas. The, it's like a buffalo check. I'm not 100% sure that that's what it is or like a gingham. I think it's buffalo check, but I really loved the colors in it and I just thought it was a simple piece that could be used at Christmas. Maybe I could use it to create a tree skirt. I think there are several different ways that you could use it. You could even use it to make like a little shawl or something like that. So I picked this up. It was only a dollar at that rummage sale and it's a nice like trendy blanket and I really like it so I'm going to pop this in the wash as well. The only problem is I don't see a tag for like washing instructions. Oh, it has a little bit of a rip right there. So hopefully I won't ruin it. It feels kind of itchy. I don't think it's wool, but maybe it's like a wool blend. Really like that. In addition to the pillows, there was one more thing that I found at a local thrift store that I actually didn't get at the rummage sale. And I found this pack of teacher stamps. You saw one of my recent hauls. I shared a whole little baggie that I found at a different thrift store with obviously vintage teacher stamps. And I was really excited because I want to have like a collection and then stamp my students' papers. I don't know. I just want to be a teacher of the 90s. I don't know why I'm like this, but um, I really loved, I really love these stamps. They just bring me back to my childhood. So here's what they look like a little closer. I love, love these. I think these are so much fun. And let's see, I found a year. These are 92, so I had to get them. I had no choice, I had to get them. And they haven't been opened, they're just perfect. Haven't been used at all. They were only 59 cents, so I thought that was a really good deal. So I just moved the clothing over here to the side and let me jump right into it. So the first piece is this Gap Top, and I really liked the, the print of it. It's just like a little flannel button down. It's a longer piece. It's, it's not like a tunic length or anything, but it definitely is a little longer. It has the cut-ups on the side, but not too high. And I really liked the colors in it. It's not, it's not a typical, it's not a typical color palette that I would go for, but I think it'll look really nice in the fall. And it even has, it's sort of hard to see, but it has some glittery like thread running through it, which I think is really nice. So I picked this up. I'm pretty sure everything that I found at the rummage sales with, that was clothing like this unless it was otherwise marked it was either 25 cents 50 cents or a dollar so it was very very inexpensive the next thing i picked up is this karen scott black and white striped top nothing fancy 
just a plain old black and white striped top. Striped top. It has a little bit of a fold up on the arm. I just really like having plain things like this to layer with and it's a cozy top. I'm trying to find more like appropriate, not, I'm trying to find things that I can wear at home that are cozy, comfortable, but also appropriate for if somebody comes to the door, I don't have to like go and run and grab a robe. I have been living in fuzzy pajamas and it's just not, it's not a good look to be wearing all day. And so um, I actually today woke up and put on makeup and straightened my hair and haven't changed back into pajamas at all since I've been home after Sean and I went to a rummage sale. So I'm pretty proud of myself about that. All of that to say, this is something that I could toss on with a pair of jeans and be totally set for the day. So pick that up. The next piece is really pretty as well. It is a striped like heather gray top. And I like it because it has the solid in the back. It's like a tank top underneath a, a separate top. And of course it's got a fun detail. It opens up in the back, which I just think adds like a little extra interest to it. I'll definitely have to wear something with it because it is not super sheer, but a little sheer. And then you can see it sort of peeks out below. I really like this. Then I found this Ann Taylor Petite, which is amazing because I'm only 5'1", so petite things actually fit me, which is kind of nice. I don't have to worry about rolling them up. But it's one of those like denim tops underneath, but like built into a sweater. And I just liked the little polka dots all over this. I thought this could look really nice with a pair of khakis and it has the little denim poking out below. I've had several tops just like this before. I don't think I've had it in the petite size, which I'm really excited about. So I just thought this would look nice for work. It's one of those things where you can, if you have a pair of khakis or a pair of like navy pants or really any color, maybe black, you can just take a top like this and pair it with so many different things. This next piece I'm pretty excited about. I like it, but I think I might give it to Keely. It's a vintage piece vintage I think it's probably like the 90s but it's this white button down it's so thick I love the material it's super sturdy and super thick feeling it has more of an open sleeve but and it has shoulder pads so those would have to go but what I love about it is the back it ties up the back I really like that I think Keely would love this top if this is like a shoelace though like legit this is tied off with a shoelace which is kind of cool, but it would look really cute with a higher high-waisted skirt or with a high-waisted pair of jeans because it is a very like short top. So I love that. I'm excited to take the shoulder pads out of it. <laughs> then I found these shorts. I really liked the polka dots. I thought they were really pretty. Keely might like something like this. Actually, these could look really cute with this top. You know what I mean? So these I think would be really cute to wear to the beach, maybe with your bathing suit underneath. They are pretty sheer, so I don't know how you would make them not so revealing, but I liked the polka dots and I thought if all else fails, I can use them for DIYs as well, like to use it as fabric for a DIY. Okay, then the last two things I'm actually planning on using for DIYs. The first one is this green sweater it's just a plain old sweater. The green is very vibrant and it's just such a pretty piece. It is the brand Bobby Brooks and I really like it. I have seen a lot of people make those sweater mittens and so I've sort of want to try to give that DIY a try and I thought that these could be this could be a fun piece to do that with. So I picked this up as well for that. And then the final piece is something I want to try to restyle. I would love to get into more thrifting and then restyling the items that I have and like sewing them into something new. So it's this really fun denim jumper, plain, simple piece, but I'm not gonna wear it like this, trust me. I'm not going to wear it like that, but I sort of want to try to tailor it. And since it has a little bit of extra material, I thought it could be really fun to try to do a DIY with it. I don't think that I've ever actually sewn denim, so I do want to figure out how to do it without damaging the piece at all, and without damaging my sewing machine just because I know it's super thick material, but I have some ideas for it. I might be able to make this look cute. We'll have to see. So I really like it. I like the buttons up the side, and I think that I could try. I think this is gonna be my first try at sewing something 
and making it into a new style but we'll have to see if I can do it and that's it for this rummage sale haul I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that I found at a local rummage sale if you haven't already checked out the shop with me portion of this video series make sure that you do I have linked it above in the card so you can check that out as I said earlier what I shared today is a little more of the practical side of this haul and then next week I am going to share with you all of the amazing vintage and nostalgic items that I was so excited to find. And let's just say one of the items I'm looking at it right now is like one of my favorite things that I have ever, ever found. It's something from my childhood that I have wanted to find for so long and I found it yesterday and it was the best day ever. So get really excited about that haul. I'm going to be sharing that with you next Sunday and I know you guys are going to absolutely love it. And there are definitely some sweaters in it. I'll also say that. There are definitely some some vintage sweaters in there. It's my new favorite thing. Don't forget to check out my blog at thriftedlivingblog.com. Please follow me on Instagram at thriftedliving. And if you don't have an Instagram but would like to stay up to date with what I'm doing, you can follow me on Facebook at thriftedlivingpage. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!